Okay, so maybe there is a chance that you could get your hands on one of these amazing machines. Or there might even be a chance that someone will watch this video and say, Hey, I own one of those cars. But the chances are rare. In fact, chances are better that you are hit by lightning or eaten by a shark. However, if you want to know what a hypercar is and why it's likely you'll never get to drive one, let alone ever see one, we put together 10 of these maxing hypercars for your enjoyment. But before we fire it up, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Toyota GR Super Sport the Toyota TS050 Hybrid is a racing car which was developed for the 2016 FIA World Endurance Championship under Le Mans prototype rules. The previous cars used a naturally aspirated V8 engine, but this new hybrid race car has a V6 engine and an 8 megajoule hybrid system running on lithium batteries. Toyota won the 2018 24 Hours of Le Mans with both cars coming in first and second place. That should be enough to get everyone excited about the GR Super Sport which will use the same technologies as the TS050 hybrid racing car. The GR Super Sport uses a mid-mounted 2.4-liter bi-turbo V6 and the race-derived Toyota Hybrid System Racing to produce a total of 986 horsepower or 735 kilowatts of power. 13-inch wide wheels at the front and rear provides plenty of tire contact patch for putting the power down to the asphalt. The car's body and styling is heavily influenced by the Toyota FT1 concept. McLaren P1 GTR The McLaren P1 is a car that pushes everything to the limit. The mid-mounted power plant puts out a ground-pounding 986 horsepower and has what is called an ERS-style push-to-pass system. The car sports a large fixed rear wing that has a Formula One drag reduction system, and the side mirrors are placed higher on the A-pillars to bring them to eye level so that you can see the blur of everything you pass. It also reduces any drag on the car. This hypercar sits on a race prep suspension with 19-inch motorsport wheels. Exhaust exits the rear wing directly in the middle, and it's made of titanium alloy and is a straight-cut twin-pipe design. One of the cool things about owning this hypercar, if you are lucky or rich enough, is that the car includes participation in driving events at some of the world's most iconic racetracks, along with specialist support. The cost for all this excitement? $2.6 million. Aston Martin 177 British automaker Aston Martin is known for its style, but when it also comes to speed, they got that department covered. The Aston Martin 177 can reach a speed of 220 miles per hour and go from 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds. That power is produced by a 7.3-liter V12 that puts out 750 horsepower which is matched to a six-speed automated manual transmission. The weight of the car is 3,594 pounds. The car has a carbon fiber monocoque chassis and a sleek handcrafted aluminum body. This car has a top speed of 220 miles per hour and will accelerate from zero to 60 in just 3.5 seconds. All of this would cost you $2.9 million if you were able to get your hands on one in the first place. Koenigsegg Gera R the manufacturer of this car calls the Koenigsegg Agera R Thor's Hammer, and for good reason. This hypercar is not only powerful but uses advanced technology in every aspect from the car's amazing visual appearance right down to the fuel system. The car's enhancements include a carbon fiber front bonnet and bumper, new front side winglets, a completely new redesigned aero exhaust, an increased engine power and a higher redline. Koenigsegg was the first hypercar manufacturer to take steps toward green technology, and the Agera runs on E85 and E100 biofuel, which allows it to put out 1140 horsepower. But you can run the car on 95 octane gas, but the car will only produce 960 horsepower, as 95 octane fuel has less octane than ethanol E85. In 2011, the Agera R set a new world record for driving 0 to 300 to 0 kilometers per hour. The time of 21.19 seconds was only eclipsed in 2015 by the Koenigsegg 1.1. Lycan Hypersport This car is built by a United Arab Emirates-based company called W Motors, which was founded in 2012 in Lebanon and is a collaboration between Lebanese, French and Italian engineers, making it the first sports car to be designed and produced in the Middle East. The production of the car was limited to just seven units total and is the most expensive production car built at $3.4 million after the Lamborghini Veneno and the Maybach Accelera. 
This is the first car to have jewels embedded into the headlights, and they contain titanium LED blades with 420 diamonds, 15 carats worth total. However, the buyer of the car has their choice of what kinds of jewels they want in their headlights, from rubies, diamonds, yellow diamonds, and sapphires, depending on the color of the car. The engine is a 3.7-liter twin-turbocharged flat-six engine developed by RUF that puts out 780 horsepower, has a top speed of 245 miles per hour, and can accelerate from 0 to 62 in a neck-snapping 2.8 seconds. Pagani Hawaira the Pagani Hawaira is the successor to the Pagani Zonda and is named after a South American wind god and for good reason. It is a mid-engine hypercar that has a better power-to-weight ratio than a Bugatti Veyron Super Sport. The car weighs 2,976 pounds and is powered by a 700-horsepower twin-turbo AMG-sourced V12 engine. That gives the car a 0 to 60 miles per hour time in just 3.5 seconds and a top speed of over 230 miles per hour. An interesting fact about the Hawaira is that it has four aerodynamic air brake type flaps at each corner of the car to maximize downforce and minimize drag, depending on yaw, throttle position, steering angle, and braking force. The cost of this hypercar is around $2.7 million. Bugatti Veyron Super Sport Everyone knows about the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport if you've watched Top Gear. The car is incredibly fast and clocked a top speed of over 265 miles per hour or 430 kilometers per hour. The Veyron is a mid-engine car that is developed by the Volkswagen Group in Germany, but is manufactured in Molsheim, France. The Veyron is equipped with an 8.0-liter quad-turbocharged W16-cylinder engine, which is the equivalent to two narrow-angle V8 engines bolted together, which produces 1,184 horsepower. The transmission is a dual-clutch, direct-shift, computer-controlled automatic transmission with seven gear ratios, with magnesium paddles behind the steering wheel and a shift time of fewer than 150 milliseconds, built by Ricardo of England. And if you had to replace the transmission in this car, it would cost you 120,000 US dollars. If you were to buy the 2015 Bugatti Veyron Super Sport, it would cost you 2.1 million dollars. Ferrari FXXK This hypercar is one wicked-looking machine and is based on the street-legal LaFerrari. The K in the new car's name refers to the Kinetic Energy Recovery System, which uses an electric motor and battery system that is in turn used to maximize performance. Performance comes from a 6.3-liter V12 engine, but it also has a 140-kilowatt electric motor. Power output is 848 horsepower on the engine alone, but with the electric motor assisting, power output is 1,036 horsepower total. The car has four driving modes, qualify, long run, fast charge, and manual boost that uses all the power of the engine and the batteries for maximum power, cornering, and speed. Production of the Ferrari FXXK started in 2015 and continued on until 2017 with only 40 cars produced. The cars are kept, serviced, and maintained by Ferrari and are only available to the owners of the cars on track day events. The price for one of these cars? $3 million, which also gets you some track time at some famous circuits and a team of racing support specialists. One interesting thing about this car is that on the top of the roof there is a small little fin that is a warning indicator of the electrical motor and system on the car. It has green lights on which indicate that the system is okay and properly ground. However, if the little fin is flashing red and you happen to touch the car, you could be electrocuted by the amperage the 480 volts creates. So keep that in mind if you are lucky enough to get close to one of these and, for some reason, decide to touch it. The Porsche 918 Spider. It would seem that electric cars are a thing that is starting to catch on when it comes to supercars. However, a lot of people like the sound that a gasoline combustion engine produces, and really, who doesn't like the throaty roar of a hypercar engine? Porsche, however, has the idea of slowly bringing the electric engine to the supercar genre and created the Porsche 918 Spyder with a hybrid mid-engine car that has a 4.6-liter V8 engine, which puts out 608 horsepower, and two electric motors that deliver an additional 280 horsepower for a combined total output of 887 horsepower. One 154 horsepower electric motor drives the rear wheels in parallel with the engine and also serves as the main generator. 
The popular Motor Trend did an independent test of the Porsche 918 and claimed a 2.4 second 0 to 60 mile per hour time and said it was the fastest car to 60 miles per hour that they had ever tested. Pricing for the Porsche 918 Spider started at 845,000 US dollars. Lamborghini Veneno. It's hard to say what hypercar really looks the meanest or the coolest, but the Lamborghini Veneno is one mean-looking machine, and it has the power to back up all those looks. The main focus of the Lamborghini Veneno over its predecessor, the Aventador, was optimizing aerodynamics and enhancing stability, subsequently leading to a racing prototype with an authentic dynamic experience of a roadster. Not only is the lightweight construction of the carbon fiber frame conspicuously evident, but if you look at the power to weight ratio of 4.38, which allows the car to accelerate from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds and achieve a limited speed of 221 miles per hour, you get an idea of how quirky this machine really is. It's powered by a 12-cylinder that generates 750 horsepower. It puts all that power to the ground using an all-wheel drive system, and to stop all those horses, the car has a carbon ceramic braking system. Ferrari La Ferrari This is known as Ferrari's most ambitious project to date, the first ever production car to be equipped with the F1-derived hybrid solution, the Hi-Cur system which combines an electric motor producing over 145 horsepower with the most powerful incarnation yet of Ferrari's classic V12 that puts out 790 horsepower at 9,000 RPM for a combined 930 horsepower total. It is capable of reaching 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 2.4 seconds, 124 miles per hour in under 7 seconds, and a speed of 186 miles per hour in 15 seconds. By the way, the name La Ferrari literally means the Ferrari in Italian and in some other Romance languages. But the true meaning of the name is that this is Ferrari's definitive Ferrari, and just looking at the machine speaks volumes about the choice of name. We hope you enjoyed this video. We want to know which one of these cars was your favorite. Don't forget to make sure you're subscribed and make sure you turn on notifications so you will be the first to know when we release a new video. We appreciate you for stopping by and want to thank you for watching.